Hi everyone, this is a guide to get Disney's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 animated storybook to work on your Windows 10 64-bit PC. This might also work with Windows 8 and Windows 7 64-bit, um, but I haven't tried it on those. Um, this is specifically for Windows 10. So when you insert your old Windows 95, 98 CD into your CD-ROM drive, a uh, little window should open up down the bottom right here to ask you uh, what to do with the disk. What you want to do is open the folder to view the files. And once that is done, so I'm just going to hide all this stuff so as not to confuse you. Um, select Launcher from the files that come up. As you can see, it's an application type file, which in the old days we used to see as exe files, exe files. So right click on that. Go to properties go to compatibility tab this remembers i've done this before and um, the system remembers what i selected um, so you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then select windows 95 from the drop down list tick run this program as an administrator and click on apply and click on ok and now you just double click on that as usual but it will apply those compatibility settings um, if you don't do that, you actually get an error message. So just select yes here. You get an error message that says um, that this program requires Windows 95 and you don't have it, so please click OK to exit installation. And you can never get past that point unless you do that um, application of compatibility settings in that tab. Okay, so this is just the old usual accept all defaults and click next until the installation is complete you will get an error message about the registration um, keeping in mind this is uh, like a 1999 or 2002 or something ridiculously long time ago um, program so this the, the links no longer exist um, and in fact Disney Interactive doesn't even make um, CD-ROMs or software anymore so just click on OK to go past that untick Play Ticker 2 now because we still need to apply compatibility settings to the file that we're actually going to play the game from and click on finish now um, this is still showing us the contents of the disk drive um, if you just wait a sec uh, what just happened will will happen to you as well which is that it goes to the location of the shortcut now that's the um, that's the shortcut so if you want to go back to the folder that actually contains that you need to right click on that and say open file location and now you're actually um, at the proper uh, location where that shortcut was pointing to so you've got a choice of either um, using launcher or using Tigger 2 as you can see they're both application type files um, Tigger 2 is probably probably makes a lot more sense so you can right click on that and send it to the desktop as a shortcut and it means that you can close all these windows and here's our shortcut right here now if you right click on that and go to properties and the compatibility tab again again this remembers what I've done before when I when I successfully installed it you just um, tick that so exactly the same settings as we did to actually install it run this program as administrator then always click on apply first and then click on OK and now if I double click on this shortcut and just say yes to that the game will launch but it'll launch in a split screen and there's nothing I've been able to do to screen recorder program so just ignore it it does actually work perfectly fine oh so, hello so would you like some help I'm just unlucky that way if you would like to so start if this. you just click on escape in here you can bypass Pooh's instructions and then as you can see you can select to start you can continue from where you left off you can exit um, or you can uh, select a particular page. Um, let's do that so you can see what comes up when that happens. Hello, hello, I'm the narrator. Um, the this is, is the ticket page, please. He's actually your click first. On your, so your so lead to lead. Right lead. Off, Just click really on the door. Um, so you can actually select where you want to go. We'll go to Pooh and Piglet's house. 
One sunny morning, Rongu was sitting and thinking outside of his house. All of a sudden, along came Tiki. <laughs> Tiki is always dancing in on his friends when they least expect it. Again, I can click escape here to bypass all that, and then I can just click oh, welcome back. If you would like to And again, I can click on escape here to stop the talking. So if I select goodbye here. If it's time for you. And escape again, so I don't have to listen to that horrible crackly noise. I shall so save your place. I hope you will wait for the very soon. And I'll just keep escaping until it goes back to the desktop. So that shortcut there is the one you always have to use to access the game. So no matter what pops up um, when you install, when you sorry insert the CD-ROM into the drive, close that, uh, close whatever pops up, and always use that particular one, uh, that particular shortcut here, because that's got the compatibility settings applied. If you don't select that one, the program won't work. Um, and that's it. Thank you.